After just a few days in jail, Jesse Smollett is out. Glenn Marshall is in the newsroom with more. Good morning, Glenn. Hey, good morning, guys. Well, Jesse Smollett walked out of the Cook County Jail as a free man for now. An appeals court made the decision to release him while he waits on the appeal results of his conviction. Jesse, how does it feel to be Jesse. free? Walking out of jail saying nothing to reporters, Jesse Smollett hurried to his SUV after an appeals court two to one vote allowed him to go free. It was supposed to be a 150 day sentence. Instead, Jesse Smollett served just six days. He was allowed to walk away after posting a personal reconnaissance bond of $150,000, which means he doesn't have to put down money but agrees to come to court as required. You may remember three years ago when Jesse Smollett, a black gay man claimed he was a victim of a racist and homophobic attack by two men wearing ski masks. He was charged and convicted after an investigation discovered he orchestrated the attack and lied to police about it. Smollett maintained his innocence throughout the trial, even during his sentencing. If I did this, then it means that I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years and the fears of the LGBTQ community. Your Honor, I respect you and I respect the jury, but I did not do this. Jesse's lawyers filed an emergency injunction last Friday requesting his release, saying he's in danger behind bars. His lawyers have criticized the special prosecutor's decision to charge him after Jesse paid a $10,000 fine and the initial charges were dropped by Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox. They're claiming there's legal double jeopardy and a double standard on how black men are treated in the judicial system. Mr. Smollett paid a $10,000 fine. Let me repeat it again, because our appellate courts are listening. Paid a $10,000 fine and did community service. Now, there's no time machine to go back in time to undo those things. His $10,000 fine hasn't even been returned to him. We had letters of support from the NAACP who talked about the disparate treatment that black males receive in the criminal justice system. It is time to have that conversation, and we are elated that the appellate court is able to decipher the legal issues here and apply the correct standard. So Jesse's lawyers plan to file an appeal on the verdict. That's what's going to happen next. In the meantime, Jesse will be a free man until the decision is made on his appeals. In the newsroom, Clint Marshall, WGN News.